Hello, in today's video, I will be showing you how to personalize an embossed leather goods such as this apron here using nothing more than a 3D printer and a clamp. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a form of the image or design that you wish to emboss in the leather. And with your slicer, this can be done easily. And I'll show you how. So we will be using Cura to create our form here. And it can be done easily simply by importing the image of the design that you wish to emboss in the leather. So we have my logo here. And you can change your X and Y size to whatever you require. For your height, I do like to print it at whatever the thickness of the leather is. This ensures that it is pressed in properly, not too deep and not too little. And the form leaves a good imprint. Now, depending on the object and how you would like to see it in the leather, you may need to select darker is higher or lighter is higher. Uh, after you load the image, you'll be able to make the differentiation between the two and which will look best. Depending on the colors of the object itself, you may have to go in and change some colors in the image so that you get better results for the form. And there we go. Now, the higher resolution of the image, the crisper the STL will be and the crisper the form will be. You will also want to print this with a fine detail nozzle, 0.4 millimeters or better, at a low layer height. The better the detail of the form, the better quality the embossing will be. And another thing that is super important, and you do have to do this, is you have to mirror the image because we are pressing it into the surface upside down. So if you don't mirror the STL and print a mirrored form, when you go to emboss it, the design will be backwards. Now for printing this, you are going to want to print this at 100% infill using a stiff plastic. PLA works fine for this. You're not going to want to use TPU or any other form of flexible plastic. And then once our object is finished printing, we're gonna go ahead and remove that from the printer. And for the next step, you're going to need your clamp. I have an F clamp here. Any clamp of the proper size will work. You are also gonna need something to spread out the pressure. I use this blank piece of wood here. So you're gonna to wanna to lay out the form and ensure you have it printed the right size and you have it the right orientation before moving on to the next step. Now, you do need to wet the leather. I wetted it for too long here. You do only need to soak it for about 20 to 30 seconds. I over soaked it here. It still comes out okay, but if you don't soak it as much, you have less of a chance of the leather deforming. Again, line up your form and then put your board or whatever you're using to spread the force out over it and clamp it down. And you're going to want to clamp this as tight as you can. Once secured, you're going to let it set. You're going to leave this until the leather dries. I left it for about three to four hours. Afterwards, you can remove the clamp, remove the board, and remove your form. And there you have it. Now I did over soak the leather a little bit, so it is still wet here, and you can see a little bit of wrinkles in the leather. After a few days of drying, those went away, fortunately, and the image held clear. So I did do this several days ago, and the embossing has held up pretty well. I am impressed with the results, especially for a first attempt. This method is something simple, and as long as you have a 3D printer and a clamp, can be done at home and is a great way to personalize any leather goods that you have. I hope you have found this video informative and shows you some of the many projects you can do with a 3D printer at home using stuff you have around the house. If you would like to see more content such as this, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please ask them as well in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at, at 3DPNero. And as always, be safe out there and have a good day.